Balanced and Unbalanced Forces Have you ever wondered why things move or don't move? Today we're going to dive into the exciting world of forces and Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law helps us understand two types of forces, balanced and unbalanced forces. Balanced forces have a net force of zero. They cancel each other out. Unbalanced forces result in a net force that is not zero, causing acceleration. Imagine pushing a car and it's not moving. That's because the force you're applying and the friction force are balanced. Now if you push the car and it starts moving, that's because your force is greater than the friction force. This is an unbalanced force that causes acceleration. Net force is the sum of all the forces acting on an object. Forces in the same direction are added and forces in opposite directions are subtracted. Here we have two forces going in opposite direction that are of equal strength. They will cancel each other out and the net force will result in a force of zero newtons. In this example, we add the two forces on the left and the two forces on the right. We then subtract their totals, which will then give us a net force of zero. In this one, we will add the two forces on the left and we will subtract them from the force on the right. The combined force on the left is greater and we end up with five newtons to the left because that's the direction of the greater force. Balanced forces keep an object's velocity unchanged, meaning if it's at rest, it stays at rest, or if it's moving, it continues moving at the same speed and direction. Satellites move around the Earth with the same speed and direction. Unbalanced forces change an object's velocity. The object might speed up, slow down, change direction, or change its speed and direction. The bowling pins are at rest until the ball adds an unbalanced force, knocking them down. So remember, balanced forces result in no acceleration, while unbalanced forces lead to acceleration. Newton's first law helps us make sense of how things move in our world. Thanks for watching and keep exploring the amazing world of physics.